must a man walk down The most important values of Judaism is ethics, the search for wisdom, the search for knowledge, and uh, uh, to be able to embrace uh, your fellow humans. That's the most central themes in Judaism, according to my interpretation. I had a life crisis back in 1995, and then I had the opportunity to ask myself a number of questions, uh, such as, uh, why am I doing what I'm doing? Do I really want to make a career in medicine? If not, what do I actually want to do? So I started by writing a book. My main focus is sort of the, the, the Jewish way of thinking. For instance, by the tradition of the Hillel school, to question things, to search for the answers never taking things for granted. Here's an example. A study done on payphones. They did like this. They took a coin and put it in the coin return of the payphone to half of the people that visited the telephone booth. So half of the people, they got to their surprise, they found the coin that they could use to phone with, and half didn't get the coin. And then as they were leaving the phone booth, they allowed an actress to walk by. She f stumbled and fell to the ground and dropped the manuscript. And it was then found that people who didn't get the coin, in 5% of the cases, they stopped and helped her to pick up the manuscript. Whereas the people that got the coin back, they stopped and helped her in 90% of the cases. And what does this tell you? Well, it tells you that if you're well treated, if you're treated nicely, even by a machine, <laughs> you will do good deeds for other people. And this in turn means that if you do good things for other people, the chance will increase that they will do good things for you. And not just for you, the chance also increases that they will do good deeds for other people. I've written five books about one issue. And this issue is what is the meaning of life, why are we here, uh, What's the purpose of, of living? And uh, the basis for, for this project is the second book that I wrote, which is called uh, The Seventh Day. It ends with four, four words that describe the meaning of life. And one of these words is uh, the, seeking the truth, trying to understand, gaining knowledge, that's one. The second one is ethics, which means uh, how we treat each other. The third one is uh, is love, which means the emotion that we have for each other. And the fourth one is wisdom. And then I've written f uh, four different books about each and every one of these words. A Concealed God is about uh, seeking the truth. Ethics uh, is covered by the book uh, The Art of Being Kind. Love is covered in the fellow humans. And the fourth word, wisdom, is covered in the new book, uh, Path to Wisdom. Why should you be a good human being? I mean, why should we be kind? Can't we just be mean to each other instead? Can't we, if our neighbor drives his lawnmower at 7 o'clock on Saturday morning, can't we just beat him up? <laughs> Many of my books are, are based on Judaism. Why should we be nice to each other? The answer to that is that a number of scientific studies have shown that we actually gain from being good. That if you were generous and collaborated, a pleasure area in the brain became activated, which proves that you actually der derive enjoyment, pleasure, from doing good deeds. And the interesting thing that is that it's the same, very same area that becomes activated when you use narcotic drugs. And that's good news, right? It's time for a paradigm shift when it comes to the world ki word kindness. I say that kindness is neither wimpy nor stupid, and it's not just cute to be kind. I'm saying that kindness is the road to success.
The way in which we treat our fellow humans will eventually decide our own destiny as individuals, as groups, and as a society as a whole. We're walking on a thin line between uh, fantastic uh, possibilities and uh, destruction. And I think on this trip into the future, we all share a common responsibility. It, it might go to hell, but uh, I don't think it will. And I, I'm, I'm willing to work, to, to do my part so that it won't end like that.